Hello and welcome to the world of Pisces. Pisces, I hope that you all are radiating positive energy at this time. Let's hop into it. Let's give the universal message. Let's see what is the guidance for you on your soul's journey, baby. What is the guidance for Pisces on the soul's journey? Listen to your body and do what it's asking of you. Period, Pooh. Some of you are living too small. You need more space to breathe, more room to grow, right? That's what your body is telling you. You need more room to grow, right? Your world is getting bigger, right? Your mind is expanding, right? Do what your body is asking of you, Pisces. That's the guidance here on the soul's journey. Look at the little fish jumping from that small bowl to a bigger bowl, right? It's more out there for you, right? It's more out there for you. Get right within your body. And then go out there and adventure, right? Adventure awaits you. Pisces, let's collect some energy with the Buffy the Vampire Slayer deck. <clears throat> let's just see what's going on in the energy. What are the guidance and messages the universe want to bring forth? All right. Let's see. All right, here we go. Pisces, Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords. And look, this Ten of Swords is like unfinished business here, right? A defeated, right? The end of a cycle, right? But somebody, it's like, it's like, bitch, I'll drag you to hell with me. Give me your hand, right? You hurt me, right? Somebody hurt you or you hurt somebody, and it's like they they in this portal, right? They like in between worlds, right? They got unfinished business. This also could be someone who passed on, right? Who who wants to look out for you. I just feel like this is, I'm going to drag you to hell with me, right? I don't know what that energy is, but it is a positive energy. But you standing there, you looking like I'm protected, right? This is the end, friend, right? This is the end. And they still want you. Pisces, you brought an end into somebody's world. And somebody still want uh, revenge upon you. Or somebody still want you in, in the form of like a relationship. Okay? With that ten of swords. It's some unfinished business, right? Somebody want to get revenge on you. Or somebody isn't ready for this connection to be over. Look. Eight of swords. Right? Somebody trapped in their thoughts about you. It could have been something you done. Or something they done, okay? But somebody's definitely trying to figure you out. I feel like somebody thinking long and hard on trying to how to figure you out. They trapped in that energy of wanting revenge or wanting you back, okay? <clears throat> Ace of Scythes. It's a motherfucker sword fight, okay? The truth was revealed, right? Everything that was in the dark came to the light. And it brought an end to a situation and one person walked away with a victory. The other one walked away with a total loss and they, they want revenge for that. It's like, oh, I'm not done with that. I can't go out like that. Right. Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. So this page of Pentacles, this is like. I don't know. It's like, see, with this Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the cards are so dark, right? It, it it speaks of the good and bad, right? So with this page of Pentacles, I feel like somebody's on the rise spiritually, right? And they fighting off their demons and the universe is showing them the way. They higher self, their psychic abilities, their gut feelings, their intuition, their instincts, whatever it is. Something is showing them a way and it's showing, how, showing them how to protect themselves against negative energies okay so somebody's um I, I i know that's the page of wands energy on that page of pentacles right somebody solid in what they know to believe is true and that's that higher self that higher spirit that higher energy right okay yeah yeah high priestess right Going from within, listening to your higher self, the divine universe, God, right? You got that protection over you, right? And nobody sees it, right? Don't know, can't know, they know it's something about you, but they can't see 
the anointing over you, right? They, 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 they don't see how blessed you really are. And this is why that ending happened, right? This is that envious part of it or that revenge seeking part of it because, right? Your life shines so bright because you are anointed, right? Nothing bothers you and that bothers people. It bothers people that you're so unbothered, no matter what they try to do to you, no matter what they say about you, no matter what type of energy they throw at you, you always manage to overcome that shit. And, and they mad about that, right? That's the envious part. That's the part that would make a motherfucker want to put their hands on you because they can't shut you down. It's because you protect it, right? That anointing that's on you. Put these people in the trance, right? That is their karma for fucking with you. This is the cycle you about to go through. Pisces, and as long as you don't accept this, man, don't even let nobody touch you. Don't shake nobody's hand because spirits can be transferred. Y'all ever seen that movie, Fallen, with Denzel Washington and and, and person touch another person and that energy just flow through them and flow and keep going, right? So don't let nobody touch you right now, right? Six of Pentacles. Right. Be careful who you accept from. OK, I, I feel in that real strong. Right. Because look, it's like somebody giving magic spells. Right. You OK. The, uh, the devil rewards you, too. That's what I'm hearing. The devil can reward you too, right? But the, your, the reward isn't long lasting. It's a moment type of reward, right? Look at the magic and the sprinkles that's on it. OK, so, yeah. Some truth has been revealed around the situation and, and um, you cut somebody off and now they are uh, envious or jealous or somebody wants you back. I'm getting more. Look, two of two. OK, here go the relationship part with the two of cups. OK, but it's a it's a third. It's like. Uh, look at it. Just look at it. It's like a third party situation with with, with an energy that's. Nothing, right? This is like the dead. Somebody who wore two faces, right? A false mask, right? So it could have been a partner that you was dealing with that, that got revealed. The truth was exposed about them. Look at all these cards that came out. Seven of stakes, right? Queen of Pentacles. Hmm. That Queen of Pentacle got a stake in her hand, too, right? So it's a lot of energy sucking motherfuckers, right? That you need to protect yourself from, even when it comes to relationships or family or people that you close to, right? You out here standing your ground against uh, the negativity. And sometimes, like, you, you standing your ground against people who bring the worst out of you. This is like with this Seven of Wands, it's like you got to protect your it's like protecting yourself from yourself right you protecting yourself from your low vibrational thoughts from your bad thoughts because so many people done tried to fuck you around so much you know your mind go to a dark place sometimes right and you trying to protect yourself from that you trying to stay solid in that that inspirational energy right that that connection that you have to the divine to the universe right you awakened you awakened, right? But you still have dark thoughts, right? You still feel low vibrational energies when people cross you or gossip about you, lie on you or whatever it is that they do to you. You have those thoughts of wanting to hurt somebody or wanting to kill somebody or do something to somebody. Sometimes those negative thoughts come across your mind and you just trying to keep your mind strong. Okay, so we're going to put these two cards back. Right, the tower was crossing it. Right, you you breaking down and the universe. See, the tower is directly connected with the universe. It's like when the universe, when the tower come, it's the universe coming to break up shit that you didn't know was gonna happen. Shit or people who, like I said, gossip about you and got ill and tit towards you. The universe come and do things to break that shit up just so you can be protected. Right. Right. So sometimes, right. I love when the tower come because it lets me know you are guided and you're protected. Right. And whatever's leaving your life or crumbling in your life is for your highest good. 
I love when the time will come, especially in a situation like this, where the truth is being revealed about somebody who been playing you or gossiping on you or cheating on you or not loving you right or, you know, just got you in situations. And when you find out about it, they want to be mad. That's all this is. You figuring out the truth about a situation, whether that's a person or a relationship you was in, and they mad because you set a boundary, you stood your ground, right? You protected. Yo, yo, you gonna have success and joy and growth anyway, right? People want to make you offers that seem solid, but it's an intention behind it. It's it's an illusion, right? People offering that fake love, right? Trying to bring out the fucking worst in you that's what they do they try to bring out the worst in you or not try it's just that's what they do and that's how you know them the type of people you ain't supposed to be around listen to your body and do what it's asking because right it tells you what it needs it tells you what to do it leads you it guides you here so let's talk to the high priestess right what what's being revealed right what's what is your body telling you right that seven of stakes came right back out and the queen of pentacles oh my fucking god right come with the high priestess right so that's what it is pisces you definitely trying to protect yourself from the evil thoughts that you have the things that you could do this is the part of you that you're afraid of here with the eight of sky thieves right with the eight of swords this is the part of you that you scared of you scared of clocking the fuck out blacking the fuck out and doing some horrible ass shit that you cannot come back from so you're trying to stay prayed up meditated up right you cleanse and clean and you trying to just keep your mind strong so you don't fall victim to the bullshit of the low vibration right so you don't become the person everybody wants you to be right you afraid of that other fish that swims deep down in the depth you are afraid for that to be expressed physically right because with this seven of stakes you taking a look at yourself like you protecting yourself right you standing strong in your spiritual energy here Mm, right so let's see what this ten of swords is right somebody got uh want revenge on you somebody want to drag you to hell with them it's like somebody not done with you yet okay five of pentacles somebody wants you to be down right you can't keep a man down without staying down with him right so this is that low vibrational gossiping ass energy right somebody who speak ill on you right and every fucking thing they spoke on you is just like coming back on them because your spirit guides your team right that unseen forces is working with you and anybody who be trying to pull you and drag you to hell with them they be the one end up lacking right so everything somebody ever said about you or wished upon you it's like happening to them right and it's like that bitch you know what i'm saying like i couldn't get him i didn't win right this is somebody who wanted to persevere over you right and it's like the prison they built for you is the one they living in and they want you to come live in it with them right four of wands five of wands right five of stakes right somebody want to like it's like the chaos like i said the prison that they uh, tried to build for you is the one that they rotten in right everything five of wands their life is disturbed right they didn't win they couldn't beat you you cut them off you were saved right you were saved and they want you to be lacking like them they want you to live in that chaos space like them right they want you to not be winning right they trapped in their own prison here right because of their own magic their own manifestation their own fuckery right you can't keep a man down without staying down with him so if i'm always plotting on you gossiping about you got something bad to say about you putting you in bad situation um bring it making bad things happen in your life always coming around with the chaos the drama you know what i'm saying competing against you and shit that's all i think about that's all that's gonna happen to me so the trap this person tried to put you in is the one they writing in because everything they tried to manifest and all the magic they tried to portray on you is it's all came right back to them. So they manifested this prison for themselves by trying to put you in it, right? 
Knight of Stakes. That's what all they energy with. And that's why the prison they built for you is the one they living in, period. Right? The truth has been revealed. Right? You found out the truth about something. You see things clear. Right? That gave you the opportunity to move forward. Right? That gave you confirmation on your next fucking move. And your next fucking move was just to create something stronger or be stronger or in your own setting. Right? Right? A motherfucker tried to offer you something. Like I said, with the Six of Pentacles, with a magic, right? A temporary thing, right? Somebody tried to play you. Somebody tried to offer you something that, that was going to bring you down, right? But justice was served. Justice was served, right? That karmic energy, angel came, an angel came, right? And cut the cords to that shit. Separated some shit, right? And now that person, whoever it is, is receiving their karma, right? The devil over here with the page of uh, Pentacles. Like I said, that page of Pentacles got that page of Wands energy on it for me, whatever reason. It seems like you you staying focused, right? You praying, you meditating, you, you trying to have that connection, keep that strong connection with you and divine, right? You trying to stay inspired while other motherfuckers working on your downfall, right? Somebody tried to put you in a trap. Somebody wanted you to be just like them. Somebody wanted you to ride with what they were saying, do what they was doing because they wanted to see you take a fall right they wanted to see you in the trap they wanted to see you having hard times and disturbed and and junkied out and on drugs or drinking whatever they wanted the worst to come for you somebody wished the worst on you and it happened to them right because your faith what you know what you believe was way stronger than any of the energy they tried to put on you Right, but that devil is a strong energy though. But the way you pray, the anointing over your life, who you are when you came to this earth, right? And the uh the team you got behind you, right? Along with your prayers and affirmations and, and the things you meditate on, it just wouldn't allow it to come in and, and have a strong hold on you like that. Right? Temperance. Okay, you have a uh, fate. Right? Something is faded in your life. Your destiny, your story is already written. There's a certain path that you were meant to go down. And you know, that tower that was crossing everything, right? This house that's packing up a lot of pictures. Everything's going in the fucking box, right? So I feel like the uh, universe has just like, right? took a lot of people off your path, packed people up and moved them out of your life, right? So that things could come into balance for you, right? You, the universe got your back, Pisces. You got a lot of unseen forces that work with you, right? That uh, that uh That's helping to navigate you through this life, right? This uh six of pentacles, right? Somebody giving you, want to offer you temporary shit, nothing that's going to last a long time, right? When the universe bless you with something, it blesses you forever, right? When the devil bless you with something, it's some temporary stuff. It's somebody who wants you to beg them for something or, you know, like do certain things for it, right? It didn't come, it didn't come naturally. It wasn't with good intention, right? And the universe brought death to that shit, right? Because things needed to change around it before you started to believe in this or or accept whatever bullshit somebody was trying to offer you, right? The universe showed you the truth so that you can make the necessary changes so that you can have that solid beginning moving forward and somebody else can rot in the prison that they built for you here with justice. The universe broke up that shit, right? Queen of Wands. Queen of Stakes, right? She's a very confident person, right? But she wasn't always. She wasn't always, she was manipulated. She was ran over. She didn't know her way at one point or another, right? But she got so tired of being the victim, playing the victim, getting the short end of the stick, she started to fight back. She realized how beautiful she was inside and out. She realized the resilience that lived within her, the grit, right? The Queen of Wands is destined for success, but she had to figure out who she was first before she could start moving towards that prosperity, right? 
So that's 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 what changed, right? I mean, I mean that ain't what changed, but that's what uh, that's what happened, right? Figure yourself the fuck out. Two of Cups. Let's talk about this lover, right? Somebody was wearing a false mask, right? Confidence, chariot, right? Ying and the yang, right? Always gossip and always on the phone, right? Your lover was spreading your business. And whoever they were spreading your business to, or or somebody was spreading business to your lover, however it go, whoever this person was getting their information from, all that gossip, right? That's that's what your person I'm hearing. That's what your person was riding on. Like they was riding on the gossip. They judged you by the gossip, right? They was confident in what a motherfucker said. They didn't even come to you and ask you about it. Any information somebody would give them about you, they would automatically believe it and run with it and act like that was law, right? So that was the fakeness in your person, right? This, this, this gossiping energy, whoever it is, whatever it is, somebody broke up your relationship too, but it was for the better, right? Nine of Pentacles, here you go, single, right? It was for the best, right? Because you know who you are. You know you confident. You know you beautiful. You know you came a long way. You know your worth, right? So if you want to believe what somebody else say, if you want to feed it to the chaos and the gossip... You could ride in that same prison them motherfuckers riding in. Because at the end of the day, look, she still pays. She's still making money. She still got candy. The devil's still watching, right? All the negative entities still around her watching. Because somebody wants to see her fall. There's an envious. There's a jealous. There's a revengeful energy. Somebody don't want to see you win so bad. They willing to ruin your relationships Fuck with your money. Do whatever they can to try to end you. But it did not work. Because the same prison they tried to build for you is the one they riding in. And they, like I felt that energy of, I'm going to drag you to hell with me. No, they dragged your partner to hell. Right? They figure, if I can't get you this way, I get you one way. Right? You was dealing with somebody with a weak mentality. Somebody who didn't trust you. Right? An op. Somebody who didn't trust you. Somebody who will believe the words of another motherfucker over you. Right? And that other person was spreading all type of lies. So instead of dragging you to hell or try to use your person to bring you down, to argue with you, to create chaos, whatever it was, shit, they end up bringing your person down with them. Right? Because you still get the victory. But look, they still mad. They watching you shine and they mad as a motherfucker that you up there and we down here. Right? I see you on the rise, but I'm still in that same energy, right? I missed that opportunity, right? This is the universe saying, I'm finna detach Pisces from all you motherfuckers. None of y'all deserve her or him. Don't none of y'all deserve to be around my baby, my special sauce, right? Because you're the special sauce. Right? You have a divine purpose, and these people can't come. They serve their purpose in your life, right? You had to learn some type of lesson from this, though. What was the lesson Pisces needed to learn before the detachment? Okay. Then it's the Three of Pentacles. Because I was going to say, you know, how to work with the negative energies. How to work through chaos. How to... This, this, was, this was the part where the universe wanted you to identify... OK, this was the lesson like um, it could be the closest motherfuckers to you. It could be the people you work with. It could be the people. It's always the people that's close to you. Right. Because nobody else could get that close to you to even plot and plan and scheme or gossip or do none of that shit. So it's always the people that's close to you. But the universe is like wanted you to recognize this energy. Right. You you will know from this point on. Who for you and who ain't. You will know how to maneuver through chaos, gossip, and all that shit. You will know. You will keep your distance. Like, now, I know some of you are already like, oh, no, I ain't fucking with that person. You might be in a setting, but just for this setting, right? I might be at an event, and I might feel that the energy is off in certain people, right? I'm going to get through the day or get through this moment in time, but after that, no more of that, right? So, that's the energy the universe had you pick up on. So, it's like off the top upon meeting people you already know who they fucking are by the energy that they radiate out of their aura 
right? So this situation gave you the power to recognize it from here on out. So that's the lesson, right? You would be able to detach easier and keep your success longer when you know what you're dealing with. All right. So what's crossing our list? The moon here. You broke free from any fear by letting the divine guide you by your spirit team. And you know that them unseen forces, right? It, you broke through any form of fear through challenges. Your pathway is lit up. You be illuminated by what lives within you, right? It gives you the power to help fight the outside world. Okay, so that's the energy Pisces. Let's get a word from the chakra wisdom to promote positivity, to see which chakra needs to be worked on, or to simply get an inspirational quote that we could say to ourselves each and every day. Pisces got the sixth chakra, and it's the third eye chakra, and this one is relevant to inner knowing. I trust my inner knowing, and I am at peace with myself. I create more moments of stillness and silence, and I listen for the truth. I am open to connecting with and listening to my gut and my heart's feelings, and I don't override them with my mind's logic. I practice meditation, prayer, and contemplation, right? And that's all you need. Inner knowing is our positive of energy. If you're new to my channel and you like this video, go ahead and hit that like or subscribe button. For those of you who are returning, thank you for your continued support. And remember that your comments are always welcome. This is all I have, Pisces. As always, be safe, be blessed, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.